going on? Tywin here. Just bringing you another addition to the heavy guide. This will be episode 3. This is how to start a new game right off the bat using heavy and be successful. Now, the very first thing that trips everyone up is the elemental damage. Because if you don't get a perfect block, you're going to take elemental damage unless you have a shield or a gem that has that defense. Obviously there I do not because in the beginning you will not have the money for a gem or a shield with that defense. You want to try and get perfect blocks or at least like I do here survive the first fight and then you should have enough money to buy the shield you need. Now in new game it's very important before you fight shade go into the options and click restart rebirth one when you first start a new game your gold drops are basically nothing a couple hundred at most but if you go into options and restart rebirth one make sure you hit that one not reset character or last rebirth but restart rebirth one and you can, then you'll start over in Sadie's garden with normal gold drops if you do that by the end of the first fight with Shade, you'll have enough money to at least buy a low end shield that has the elemental defense that you need, which against this guy right now is poison. Now it won't matter if you get a perfect block because you'll have that defense and you can <coughs> excuse me and you can defend against his element. Which is very, very important if you're using heavy. You need to make sure you're always paying attention to whatever the element is that the boss or the titan is using. The other thing I'll mention here, as you can see I'm doing my combos at the end of my break window. Unlike light and duel, you cannot or you should not start a combo right away. Because starting a combo with heavy on a block break, if you start a combo right away by attacking the same direction twice, after your combo, that break window will end. Parry breaks are different because they're timed. You can start a combo right away and maybe squeeze in a couple combos, a couple slashes, but it's still more effective to attack a few times and then at, towards the end of the break window, use your combo. I'll make a video here soon. Uh, showing all the different break windows. I do have videos up on block, on how to block and how to parry if you need a refresher. Um, I'll link to those in this video so you can see there aren't really much differences between parrying in the other classes or, or blocking for that matter with, with light and heavy. It's, it's pretty basic but there are two quick tutorials on my channel you can look for. Now this guy I kept dying on using display recorder so I end up I'm just gonna probably I'm just gonna skip this fight sorry guys but for some reason he is impossible for I he always trips me up especially when I'm using display recorder the lag is so hard to play through that I eventually stopped recording to beat him, so I don't have the entire fight. But again, he was using ice attack, so I went to find an ice defense. Alright, get past Ronin. I get to fight this beastly guy here. And I die the first time. You can't tell what attack, what... I didn't know what element he was using, and obviously it's poison. So now, load back up, and I'm gonna go find a shield that has poison defense. Because I have very little health, and it's hard, and unless you're really good at getting perfect blocks, it's easier just go buy a shield with that defense. By this point, you'll have plenty of money to get at least a shield that you need, no problem. Especially if you did the restart rebirth one at the beginning of the new game, just like I said you should. And now we can take this guy down. 
Pep Wars. I hate Pep Wars. They're the worst, especially on my phone. They're, they're hard for me. My iPad's a lot easier to get it, to win a tap war. iPhone, it sucks. So, this guy is not too hard once you have that elemental defense. Uh, right there, I didn't want to get the slash because I wanted to, to use the whole break window. When you use a slash, it eats up part of the hit count. But I just didn't time the next hit well enough, so I wasn't able to attack at all. But it's all good. We're about to take this guy down here. Just a couple more hits. One more break. Should do it. There we go. Back to you win. Take no damage. Which is good, because if I took any damage, I would have probably died right away. And this guy is down. Now we get to take on the final boss of the of the tutorial or the beginning of the game, which is Sadie. And she's not really too hard. Um, you can, it's pretty easy to block most of her attacks as long as you time as long as you time it right and, and pay attention. Her leg kicks look scary, but they're pretty easy to du uh not dodge. Excuse me, they're pretty easy to block once you once you get the hang of it. So while this is loading up here, just a quick refresher on the basics that I talked about so far. Always look at their elemental attack of the Titan. Make sure you have a shield or a gem. At this point in the game, I won't be able to get a gem. Maybe. At least you'll be able to find a shield that has the elemental defense. In this case, Sadie's using fire. So I'm going to actually stock up a little. You should have enough money right now. If you did the Restart Rebirth 1 glitch, that you can buy a few new items. You can buy a little more powerful heavy weapon. Go ahead and buy or equip a shield that has fire defense. And if you have the funds, you know, stock up and get another helm or armor if you so desire <coughs> and then we can take on Sadie so the most important thing with starting a new game is trying to get the perfect blocks on the shade to minimize your damage which I didn't do very well in this video perfect blocks to minimize the elemental damage that you take to have more health going forward after shade restart rebirth one glitch to make sure you get decent money drops so you can buy shields that have the elemental defense you're going to need later and attack the combo at the end of the break window those are the three most important things to be successful and heavy early on so Sadie's just blabbing her mouth right now. I should have just fast forwarded through this. Whatever. Here we go. Take on this hoe. She's one scary man. As you see, sometimes with parry break, especially if you get a perfect break, you'll get a little slash animation here. Take advantage of it. You can usually do some pretty decent damage. The slash doesn't, it does a little more than full damage, like maybe 1.65 times more than you normally would have. And there I'm getting smoked by her magic because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention, that health that is right before Geno by the tree. Uh, grab that, obviously, and then save it for Sadie. <coughs> Use on her so you have full health going forward against her. And there we took down Sadie. She did a little leg kick, which is really easy to block that little leg kick. If you didn't see, it's just middle block, then all the left block after that. And Sadie is down. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, pay attention to elemental defense, restart rebirth one, and try and get perfect blocks. And last but not least, attack the combo at the end of the break window. Until next time, I'm out.